Hi guys, it's Autumn Rio with MamaChallenge.com and of course we're coming to you today from a pretty exciting location right here in the heart of Dallas. It's the Hilton Anatole and I'm pretty ecstatic because today I can't really say as much of a Mama Challenge because look where I'm at guys. If you just take a look around this place, look how beautiful it is. I mean, you've got artwork, we have all of these things that we're going to kind of take a look at today and kind of give you a good look if you've never been to the Hilton Anatole. Uh, it's an exciting location, like I said, here in Dallas, but it's got a pretty cool little feature now that came out in 2016 called Jade Waters. And if you haven't heard about Jade Waters, well, man, you are in for a treat because we're going to show you some things that whether you have kids or not, you're going to really want to head out here for a weekend for all the activities, all the fun, all the kind of great stuff that they have going on. And I'm excited because they have a lot more activities that I'll want to tell you about uh, for this year. So just, you know, stay with us. We're only going to do this for about 30 minutes today. So I kind of want to give you a power pack. Um, so, you know, it's about 4.30, 4.35, somewhere in that window now, maybe it'll be a little more after that at this point but grab a drink because it's five o'clock almost and uh, it's Friday afternoon and we're here to give you a little bit of fun as well as an opportunity for you to also win a two-day weekend here at the Hilton Anatole so give us comments because every time you make an entry here and not I don't want just like hey but like a real legitimate entry whether or not you have a question uh, you just want to share something and it's Friday whatever it is throw it up on there. That's going to be an entry for you, as well as if you stay with us for the whole time, I'm going to show you a couple of other different ways that will give you more entries for your weekend stay here at the Hilton Anatole. So come on, we're going to show you a couple of more things here. As you see, this is elaborate side. There's actually two different parts of the Hilton Anatole. Um, you've got the atrium, and you have the tower entrance. So one of the things I would tell you before you come out to um, here if you if you do have a reservation is to give them a call ahead of time or you can check in over at the lobby side and let them know hey you know we're coming in find out which side to check in on because you're going to have um you know when you're checking in what side you're going to want to have valet come and bring your things they do allow to bring in snacks all kinds of other things with you but honestly there's so much for you to enjoy here at the hilton anatole you really don't need to because i love the fact that i just tell my kids hey we're coming for a weekend and they're like, okay, we throw our bathing suits and everything in the bag and we're out. So here is one of the really kind of cool spots here. It's counter offer. Um, as you can see here, you can see the familiar Starbucks sign. So for those of us who exist off coffee, um, that is definitely your stop. But if you see just a little bit there to your left as well, there's wine. There's a great selection of wine and sushi. So it's kind of like for me, it's like all good things came all in one space, but it gets even better because if you go on the other side, they have amazing desserts, they have salads, they have uh, sandwiches. So if you're kind of one of those crazy people who just need food, a little snack in between, you need to get away or whatever it is, you can do it here at Counter Offer and they've got a little bit of everything. I think we've gotten some macarons here before. Um, we've gotten some cake ball, cake ball pops that the kids really love. So this is definitely a stop and it's got great food. So don't be, think that it's just getting deli stuff. So um, before we head off here to the rest of the hotel, I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around just to see over here. We have, this is the, um, pardon me, the media grill and bar and they have some great food. We're not gonna spend too much time over here because I know what you guys are really looking for is the uh, looking at, uh, take a look at Jade Waters. But what they do have there, it's gonna have your full menu. They have a great bar menu, of course. I had a cachouterie board that was amazing there before. Um, they had several options for gluten-free because of course we have a couple of those in our family. So you've got a little bit of everything there. So whether it be a burger or a steak, they have it. And if you need a little adjustment, just let them know because they're really good about making those adjustments for you. So that's a great pick. Um, but of course, you know, there's always room service and I'm not, I'm not afraid of room service, especially here because getting breakfast in bed is probably one of my very favorite spots. Now, if you take a look around in this particular room, you can see lots of artwork. You're actually gonna find lots of artwork throughout this whole hotel. And it's amazing because actually if you look like even in your rooms, there's going to be artwork. There's things in the hallway. So it's not just in specific areas, but you can really appreciate and enjoy architecture and design. And there's little placards you can look at to see where those come from. But I also picked up this really nifty little thing here. I'm going to find it now. Where's my lovely little brochure I had earlier? Because that little guy was, I was like, oh my gosh, there was like a one minute walk or a one mile walk. Pardon me. 
So we've got a one mile art walk here at the Anatole. So this is anatoleart.com. And I'm gonna show you some of these really cool pieces, but they actually have a layout of the Ho Hotel. And you can go through and see all the different sculptures, both inside and out. And I mean, if you're looking for something kind of cultural to do with the kids, but it's here in the hotel, that's great. If you're just looking for a little, you know, art yourself, and this is a great way to kind of quiet down and enjoy things, again, without having to go anywhere. I mean, everything you want is within a couple of fingertips or a couple of walking miles away from here because we're in downtown Dallas, but there are so much to do at the hotel, you're really not gonna wanna do anything else. So come on, keep it going. If you guys have any questions, just let us know. We're going upstairs now, so you gotta give us a little bit of a space. Here we go. So as you go over, like I said, this hotel is huge, um, but it's because it also covers some of the coolest events that we have here in Dallas. I know there's conferences that come through here all the time, um, amazing spaces they have. So if your particular company or, um, needs to hold a space, this is a great place, especially if you're gonna bring your kids uh, and then maybe the, other spouse is going to stay with you while you're going to an event this is a great destination for that now if you kind of turn over here this is children's corner i'm not even gonna take you in there and the reason why is because i'll get lost myself there's such cute little tutus we saw there's a little astronauts outfit over there um we got the top gun leather jacket i mean you could do some pretty good damage in the store and never even take your kids in but if you don't watch it and you do take your kids in like I've done before, you'll be in here for a while, but you've got a little bit of everything. I mean, they've got the water balloons, you've got the goggles. We own both pairs of those goggles. Um, they've got a little bit of everything here. So this is a great stop um, for you while you're here at the Anatole. Now, as I was kind of showing you, there's a lot of different things that you can do here and it caters to not just families, but like I said, business individuals coming into town. I've seen lots of cool like girlfriend getaway type things because you've got restaurants like Sir here. And sir, if you haven't had a chance to go to that restaurant, it's amazing. One, because it towers over here in Dallas, but it also has like, looking, looking, looking. Um, it has some amazing steaks. We actually took the kids last year, um, but now as I kind of think about it, I kind of wish that we had kind of had that as our date night experience because it was such great food and great ambiance and it does have this picturesque view of Dallas so you can go onto their website and kind of look at the menu because it is kind of a changing menu and it's a great place if you're having an anniversary or anything like that so as you kind of keep looking again you're gonna find this amazing artwork throughout um, the hotel and there's even some other places where they've kind of pointed out where you're gonna to want to take pictures so this is one of my very favorites they have actually ID'd places in the hotel so this one's actually called a photo spot. It'll even remind you, hey, there's a photo spot here. And then if you turn around, here's our photo spot right here in front of the elephant. So you can take a picture and they're gonna have tons of pictures. And again, you never left. Um, I think that's what I think is amazing because you do sometimes have intermittent rain or you're like, I don't wanna worry about parking or any of that kind of stuff. You don't have to because this is like coming to a resort, like you would spend tons of money to go to but you don't have to because it's here you know at home so whether you're here in dallas and this is going to be a staycation fun or maybe you're you know from a couple of hours away and you're just looking for something to do for a couple of you know a couple of days without going anywhere or getting on an airplane this is the stop for you so keep kind of turning around they've got another uh, shop here they actually have several retail shops here um, there's one that's women's wear that i love um, it has really cool so if you're going somewhere and you're looking for oh i you know lost my white shirt or i forgot to bring it uh, and then you also have the kids stuff here, um, jewelry, that's more of your souvenir type things. So we just kind of keep on going here. Like I said, there's two places and there's in between. During the winter time, if you haven't had a chance to come here, they do an amazing event here uh, for the Christmas at the Anatole. And you get to have breakfast with Santa and Mrs. Claus. They have all kinds of activities. I mean, they really do a stellar job of making it a fun activity here again. Oops, glad that didn't happen to us. Um, the event I, now before I go too much further here, I would be remiss to not show you Geppetto's workshop. This is a world-class theater. Um, it's not quite open yet right now, but they do have hours uh, all you know throughout the weekend. And you can actually go in here and you've got the puppet theater. They have different shows. I think right now they're actually showing Little Mermaid, which is lots of fun. And they do an amazing job. Uh, John Hopkins, who's over the theater here, um, has an amazing experience 
with PBS, with, with everyone. I mean, he's such amazing and professional, but he puts this all together here. And so you can also do that during Christmas. They'll have something that's gonna be Christmas um, oriented. So you can get that, that as part of your fun pass, which we'll talk a little bit more about all the things that come with you at Jade Waters. But this is the fun pass we're talking about. So this is guests. So for $29.95, that's gonna get you all these extras along with your Jade Waters um, pass. So it's gonna include, they have this damsels, dragons, and donuts, which is kind of a fun experience you can have with a breakfast. The Little Mermaid marionette show. This is the one they have here at Geppetto's. Uh, the Pirate Adventure, Family Bingo, Kids Craft Workshop, Glow, The Black Light Show. I don't even know what The Black Light Show is. I'm super excited. So don't think that tonight uh, when they have that, we're not going to be taking pictures and video of it because I'm probably more excited about it because the kids don't even know yet. So that's just kind of fun stuff. So if you've been before and you're like, oh, we've done that, they've given you all kinds of more activities this year. Um, they actually will give you kind of a whole layout here of all the different activities that you can um, expect to enjoy on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And here's the best part, guys. So unfortunately, it does rain, much like it did earlier today. So here is the sun location. And then here's the rain location. So if you're like, oh man, you know, the weatherman says Friday morning it's gonna rain and you guys are showing up for the weekend, you're gonna surprise the kids or something like that, don't worry, they still have activities for you here. And you're gonna have a lot of those activities, but with the fun pass, that's gonna kind of give you like a little bit of everything. Um, and then there's also some a la carte items that I'll be able to point out to you um, as well. So we'll keep on, keep on moving because there's a lot to see here. I do love if you kind of look down here as they have uh, these pointers to let you know exactly where is Jade Waters because that is your big hot spot here. So we'll keep it going. So if you can manage to get away um, or you are smart enough to you know make it a girlfriend's weekend um, or a couple's weekend, they have the gossip bar over here and they have some amazing craft cocktails there. Um, I have had the pleasure of stopping there a couple of times um, on my own, maybe for a long opportunity to be able to uh, go check on some things, come by and grab a drink. They've got a menu here, they got those kinds of things. So this is a great spot to, to go maybe meet up with a friend or what have you. This area is uh, like another photo spot. Ah! Uh, is during Christmas this is where they kind of set up for like they have a big hot chocolate bar and scavenger hunt so the kids go throughout the hotel they're having all these activities uh, having breakfast with Santa and then they come over here and make like not like a normal you know hot chocolate we're talking like the mug with the whipped cream with the sprinkles with the chocolate it's like it's legit so it's it's totally needs to be something that's also on your calendar for Christmas now before we go too much further I want to make sure and point out one of the coolest things, and I think I came here like three times and completely missed it here at the hotel. And that's just kind of, I think one of the cool things about it is that there is a lot to do here. So, you know, maybe sometime you come, I know my daughter and I've come and had manicures and pedicures together, uh, which was a fun experience. And you can do that um, at the spa they have here. Um, you know, they do have a fitness club. They do have all the basics that you would expect, but they have so much more. So here we go, is this not cool? So this is actually a piece of the Berlin Wall. This particular piece they refer to is called uh, Symbols of Freedom. And it's 12 feet, uh, four feet wide, and it's two different segments and about, uh, you know, a little more than 11,000, 12,000 pounds is how much that weighs. So that's pretty serious, um, but it actually gives you kind of the back history on that. And I think as far as, you know, as a parent being able to show a piece like this and not take the kids, you know, if you haven't had an opportunity to take them into a, a museum that's curated and that might be too overwhelming for you or for the kids, this is a great experience because they can kind of come see a piece of artwork, then we're gonna go back out to the pool, then maybe we'll see two or three other pieces of artwork. So you're combining that culture and the fun that makes things a little bit more um, approachable for kids, a little easier for it to go down, and they don't even realize that you just gave them some love and gave them a little education in between their popsicles and their slushies they're having out at the pool. So before we head out to Jade Waters, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys uh, a couple of things that I make sure to take with me anytime I go out to the water. Um, here we go. We're going into the sun, folks. Thankfully, because like about 10 minutes before we got on, it was raining cats and dogs. So now it's just really good and humid and sultry out here. So let's take a seat. As you can see back here, you can see Jade Waters in the uh, 
the background because everybody's coming back out for the afternoon. And let me just take a look at some of these things I've got here. So of course, before any lovely, because you're going to come out, you know, bring out your waterwear and everything like that. And while you can do a lot of things, if you're like me, you're going to put on your bathing suit and that's going to be like the next eight hours of your time, right? So you got to have your basic essentials. First one is hat. This is a gray fedora hat. And guys, because it's the middle of summer and they're already trying to put back to school stuff out, everything's on sale. It's amazing. So like, I think this guy was about $15 when it was all said and done. I got this one at JCPenney's. Um, I know the Nordstrom anniversary sale just started. So perfect time to go do a little shopping and stock up, if not for this year, but also for next year. Um, so I think that one's a huge one. Put that on because you do, you need to be nice to your hair. Of course, I'm going to keep talking about hair because I have a lot of it. And here in Dallas, it just, humidity makes it bigger, bigger, and, and even bigger. So this is my dry conditioner. If you go on mamachallenge.com right now, I have three hairstyles that you can do in seconds because I don't have time to do my hair most of the time. Anyone who knows me, uh, most of the time when I'm not sitting on camera or on TV, I have my hair in a ponytail and it's in a ball cap. Um, but I have to use this because it's what's keeping all of this dry stuff in between shampoos and things like that. So you have your dry shampoo for the top and this is like your dry conditioner to use for the, for the ends. And this is from Dry Bar. You can find it at the Sephora inside JCPenney um, or at your Dry Bar because I love Dry Bar. Also, if you follow me on, on Instagram, I'm there a little more often than I probably should tell you. Uh, Ocean Potion. This is like my new love right here because one, it's clear. So you're not putting on that white stuff all over your face, sitting out by the pool and then not realize, oh my gosh, I just put all this and it's not rubbed in and no one's telling me and I'm all embarrassed. So this one, it starts off clear to start with. It's got the uh, SPF 45. Uh, and then, I mean, it's just great because it allows you to be able to be out in the sun without having to worry about all that extra stuff. Because now that I've gotten a little older, I'm starting to figure out that the wrinkles are real. And they're not something they just talk about because I'm now my mom's age when she started to talk about me about her wrinkles. So guys, use as much moisturizer as they tell you to use as much sunscreen. I mean, I could go on for days about how much sunscreen is in my bag for the kids. But as you know, this one's probably the one that my kiddo loves the most right now because why? It's got sparkles in it. I mean, the girl is a pink girl, but if you look right here, you can see inside it literally is glitter and you're just going to rub that on let me tell you if you think that glitter is going to go away it doesn't i had it on the other day it was like hours that i had on this stuff so you can see they got it in different colors they have a tangerine one you can see this has got a little bit of a red pink hue to it you can't see it a lot because i got freckles they're about the same color um, but this one actually is strawberry scented and water resistant. So you've got about 80 minutes out there, water resistant with the kids, and they're not gonna mind putting it on and slathering it on when it's got sparkles in it. So she's all excited and been like, we're bringing the sparkle sunscreen, right, mom? I'm like, yes, we're bringing it. And guys, can you see it there? Because that is some sparkly sunscreen and you need that. If sparkles are not your deal, then I also have this one. Like I said, I'm all about the sunscreen. This one's the one that I'm excited about too. This has got the scent of sunshine. This is the ocean potion as well. Smells like an orange dream sickle. So you don't smell like you used to when we were younger and we'd like slather on all the oil. And we're like, oh, that smells great, but we didn't have anything on. <laughs> now you actually have your SPF on that you're supposed to and you can still smell good. Now some of my other fun finds in here. Can go anywhere without your stick, right? You gotta have this because you're gonna kill your battery because you're gonna be sitting on Facebook, even though you shouldn't be, and looking at stuff. Hopefully you're looking at me and you're on Mama Challenge. Um, but you're probably checking things out and you're like, oh my gosh, there's no, there's, there's no way. And then your battery is already out. So gotta do that, gotta have that battery. Water, big fan of this Voss water. Like I even had my friend show it to her and she's like, oh my gosh, really? Like it's got a different flavor. This one I found was a lemon cucumber. So they've got a couple of different flavors out there. I usually grab mine on like Amazon, but this one I found in a convenience store. So just keep your eye out for it because it was really good and it was sparkling to boot too. So I'm kind of excited about that. And last but not least, my newest fun favorite. This is my baby. These are Roca. Love them. And you know how serious I am about my sunglasses, guys. So these are just cute to start with, right? I mean, you gotta love the style, but this is where I really want you to take a look. So right here, they've got these rubber pieces are here as well as on your nose piece. 
This is what's gonna allow you to keep these on and sweaty nose and all in the middle of the day. And maybe you're one of those that likes to go run in the morning. I know I've been trying to get my exercise on. You're like, I gotta wear one sunglass because my aviators aren't gonna let me, you know, go running. These are gonna stay in place no matter what you're doing. So you don't need two or three pairs of sunglasses. You need one. So you look cool. You're gonna be cool. And what I think is really, really awesome is the fact that you have got one pair of sunglasses and these are a Dallas brand. I think that's amazing. I'm all about supporting local. And of course with local, that means I love these glasses. Um, you can go online and purchase your own. They're, uh, I can't even talk about how great they are. But if you sit there and you can kind of see, they have different styles. I love them a lot. Um, what else can I say about how amazing these are? Um, you can put them on here on your head love the grip on them and i looked online too there are people who have done triathlons who have done i mean wasn't that cool look i didn't get caught up in my hair um but i've done triathlons who have done runs who have done all kinds of things with these glasses and these are like the the pair they have to have so if you're a serious athlete i think these are the glasses you need to be looking at these are roca if you're a mom who's just like i'm running all day long to keep up with my life this is a pair of sunglasses because this is going to be your your one pair I, I could tell you about all the technology that goes in them but honestly just go online to their website that one's to roca.com and you're going to be able to look at all the different styles if by chance you don't like a style once you get it i talked to them as well and they're like hey you know we're happy to work with you you've got a warranty on it i mean you're really buying into a great brand and of course because it's a dallas brand you gotta love that so go on to that so now we've got our sunshades on we're heading to the pool, which is what you guys have been so excited about, right? And the part that you've probably been the most excited about is how am I supposed to get my stay here at the Hilton Anatole, right? So we're gonna keep walking around here. So first of all, if you've been kind of following us, you'll be able to uh, enter just by commenting and telling me, hey, what's up? Have we had any entries or anybody comment so far? I don't know, have we cameraman? Like take a look there here we go keep it going keep it going it's a little hard to to navigate but you'll be able to do that and because I'm nice and I realize at 4 30 not everybody is going to be able to uh, to get on and, and follow me from work or maybe they're on their way from work you can go on to mamachallenge.com and when you do that you'll be able to uh, enter for the two night weekend getaway here at the Hilton Anatole. That's gonna include a $100 resort credit as well as uh, your resort fees that you would have that would include your passes to Jade Waters. It's gonna include coffee, all kinds of things. And you can go on, like I said, to mamachallenge.com. It will give you all the details and the contest rules. And you've got only until Wednesday to be able to, to enter for that contest. So I'm gonna give it away because it's only valid up until Labor Day because that's when it's open. You've got Labor uh, Memorial Day is when it opens and Labor Day is when it closes. So that's the big shebang. So you've got just a couple of weekends left that you'll be able to enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you go ahead and take a look. How picturesque is that? If that is not a picture moment here in Big D, I don't know what is because it's just beautiful blue skies that were once raining. And then this is kind of the whole area that you're gonna be able to do things. They've got a pirate adventure. Uh, you can see some of those activities and things like that that are going on throughout the property. Um, they've got the different times. And then of course, here's the kids concierge. Um, so you're familiar with the concierge, right? They're gonna be able to give you um, answers to questions and help things out. Well, I love these guys because they're really taking the whole family concept to mine so this is the kids concierge as you can see here we've got a s'mores party so that'll be tonight I think they said that was about 8 30 so you show, you show up they've got everything you need for your s'mores family bingo here uh, as well so that one's from six to seven I'm stoked because this is what it was for my family this weekend it was all you know hands on deck no phones no computers except for right now uh, so we're coming out and can enjoy that and then there's the kids craft workshop that we have and then they have snow cones so as part of your fun pass area um, you've got uh, you get a little snow cone when you come over to the area so you definitely have to make this part of your your stop so um, we've got all kinds of different flavors ice cream flavors of course as well suckers cotton candy 
just a little bit of everything. So have to make sure you make that a stop. But come on, we've got other things Where that we can do. Where can I get those sunglasses? You go online. They're completely online. And part of that is that they really want to interface with the, the customer themselves to be able to help you find the best pair of sunglasses for you. So go on to roca.com. I'll place that link as well because um, I promise you I'm going to be talking about these more and more because they are my newfound babies. Um, and you need a pair. I think everybody. They do come in polarized as well as non-polarized. Non so depending on what your, your need is. And they have them in all kinds of different frames too. So... If the aviator is not your deal, then you've got some other options. And they're also rolling out a couple of more uh, looks as well over the next couple of months. So you need to go onto their website and take a look at that. So I wanted to give you guys another uh, just kind of roll down of all the different events. They've got a gold coin plunge. I mean, honestly, I haven't even had a chance to do all of these this year yet. Um, they have a kids pool party, so they really kind of focus on the kids' activities. The movies under the stars. Um, so tonight is Moana, so that'll be about, you know, dark time. Uh, we have Moana, and then we also have Finding Dory that'll be to tomorrow. So, like, what's more perfect? Sitting next to the pool with the kids. They serve out popcorn, that kind of thing. And it's all going to have kind of that water theme. I love it. Um, and then some of the other events that they have going on, there's an adult happy hour in addition to the kids' happy hour. The duck race the glow black light party which it says opens mid-july so i guess we might be lucky that we get that and kind of show you guys what that is today so we're going to stop here though because mama needs a snow cone it's probably not anything in this snow cone but i can promise you before the end of this little uh facebook live there might be something in my snow cone if you know what i mean and um if you haven't had a chance again to be here they do an incredible job of those drinks so if you're like i just need to be sitting in the water with a little drink with an umbrella and it's fruity and it reminds me of mexico that's what you're going to find here and um and that's what makes it great for anyone of all ages because you're going to find those kind of activities here at the hilton anatole jade waters so we'll go ahead and keep walking around to this side over here i said you got popcorn um they have some kids activities so when you get some points and stuff off some of the uh, activities this is where you come and redeem those they've got a sand castle dig so they can actually come over here and uh, dig so you get your shovel over here and you can actually go digging for fun i love that so the, it does say ages 2 to 15 so i guess i'm out on that one but uh, you have one minute to locate buried items and then you have only one box to excavate oh that's pretty cool okay that sounds totally fine um but they're all kinds of games as you can see throughout here they've placed it out they've really thought very thoroughly about what's going to keep things entertaining for you and for your kids um, and then of course they have the cabanas so if you have the cabanas over here and you can rent those out um, those are ideal of course if you're going to stay by the pool all weekend long um, so if you're like hey i'm sitting here from eight to eight um, that's the kind of thing that you're going to want to make sure that you uh you go and rent out that is an extra cost but totally worth it if you know you're gonna be camping out for the whole time and then um, just all the other kinds of things do we have are any other the questions snow cones or s'mores free or is that extra I believe the s'mores are actually there's an extra cost to the s'mores party you do get a snow cone enough um, as part of your fun pass I believe when you come over to here but of course if you're gonna get like 40 people unless they're having the fun passes then you're gonna have an extra cost to that or you're coming back in so um, I want to check out on that one, but I do know you get, because I checked in specifically and said, hey, does everybody get a snow cone? They're like, if you've got your fun pass, yes, they do. So. And Heather Castillo, Singleton, wanted to know if you could take a picture of that and post it on your Facebook. I will totally. I actually don't have to take a picture of it. I will give you this activity sheet. Um, I've actually got this one as a PDF, so I'm happy to put it on there because it is a really handy little one-pager. Um, you can also go on to anatolepool.com. And apparently they have all that information there as well but it does it includes things they've got at all the different restaurants the day beds the cabanas they even have an app um, so you download their Hilton Honors app and they have a fun finder to give you all those activities and then just the kind of your details of all your other other stuff so I think they got my snow cone ready over here yay it's hot guys very humid yes it's very humid so Yes, I would. And everybody gets a free snow cone with their fun pass, right? Yep. Awesome. Yum. 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 And what flavor is this? Is grape. Grape. Can't. Mm -hmm. uh. mm. Mm. 
Oh my god, that's really good. I think it's been a while since I've had a snow cone. Thanks guys so much. I appreciate it. All right, before we uh, get too long into this, because I know you guys have got, it's a Friday afternoon and you're looking for all kinds of fun activities. You still have time to come out here for the evening or if you want to, you know, book it for the weekend. Um, come out, you know, tomorrow even if you needed to, because you can stay. And what I think is really nice is that you can check out, but you can still, your pass is still open to come out to the pool. So even if it's your checkout is 11 o'clock, you can still come out to the pool, put the stuff in the, you know, put it in the car and then get ready and then stay out for a couple more hours at the pool. So last but not least, let's go take a look at the pool because looks like everybody's heading back out. Um, as I said, it's hot, it's gross. You can always tell because my hair keeps getting bigger and bigger. Say, And I hope you guys are enjoying these, you know, Mama Challenge lives. I wasn't quite sure when we started these, like if everybody was gonna enjoy them or if they're gonna be something that people were gonna wanna participate in. But uh, we've had a great time doing them as well. And so, um, we really appreciate the app being very helpful. Say, so gotta do the app. The apps are where it's at, right? And even if you're like, oh, I gotta download another app, guys, you download the app for the weekend while you're here. Then if you need some more space, take it off. But here we go. This is kind of like the oasis in the middle of Dallas, right? So as you can see, tons of people. They've got an area. If you forgot your pool or your bathing suit, they got stuff here. If you've got over here, you've got a bar area. This is where all those amazing drinks you've been coming from. And if you follow me on Instagram, believe me, that's where you'll be seeing your drinks this weekend because I'm going to order a couple of those. Uh, and then you've got all kinds of different seating areas. So if you're bringing out the kids, there's kind of a more kid-minded area over here. Big bridge. They've got two slides in there. Um, as well, I believe they're 180 feet long uh, on, those, on those slides. Probably going to forget all my details here. Uh, but as you can see, there's tons of activities. And then if you're on this space over here, they've got a basketball uh, space if you want to play. Um, if you want to do other, you know, activities and stuff, depending on what your age or interest is, you can do that. And then, you know, it's just a little bit of everything for everybody. So um, the Lazy River, lots of fun. That's always something that I think everybody enjoys. And um, just tons of fun for the whole family. So do me a you know do me a favor give us a comment give us some love share us on your own page to say hey guys because it's very rare that we get to give an opportunity for a weekend staycation opportunity like this so we want to make sure that we get to do it again in the future so the more love that we get out of this the better um, so make sure that you enter uh, for for this by giving us a comment here or you can go to mamachallenge.com and you can enter there in the space there will be a couple of different things but you've only got a couple of days to do that so make sure that you uh, you take a hold of that now before your whole weekend gets a you know gets away from you and uh, join us out here at the Hilton Anatole Jade Waters so thank you so much guys I really appreciate it we'll talk to you soon have a great weekend